Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Louis on the counter and he's not supposed to be. I feel like people get super weird about that, but just know before I cook anything, do anything, like all my counters are wiped. But um, I just went to Publix, it's Friday morning, it's still early, it's only 7.30, but I do kinda need to get moving and get on work for the, for the day. Um, I feel like this week super flew by, but it's just been like a busy week, which is good. I, I do like to be busy. Um, nothing worse than like being bored while working, you know? But the weather is warm again. It's like a little cool in the morning, which is why I have a jacket on, but um, I think we're gonna go to the beach tomorrow because next week after Halloween, it's supposed to get cold, like super cold, like down in 40s and 50s. So beach will kind of like be out for probably the rest of the winter. It really just depends. Florida is so back and forth. I'm like in Thanksgiving prep mode to some extent. I wanna go to Target. I need a tablecloth for the table, maybe like a runner. And basically what I really need to do today is probably just like sit down and write down a list of all of the stuff that I need, make the menu, make a list of all of the ingredients that I'll need. It's like too soon to buy ingredients now, obviously, but you can start getting some of like the dry goods and then get like head count, stock up on all the drinks. I think this year I'm just gonna get disposable plateware that's like the nicer kind not like a paper plate but they make like those fancier whatever it'll just be a lot simpler because last year it was like dishes overload and it was a little bit ridiculous so making some changes for this year I know my mom and I said we're gonna do apple cider mimosas as the cocktail um, and basically just kind of start getting all of that together but figured I would just start a vlog for the weekend um but let me unpack all of these groceries groceries are so expensive right now and I'll show you guys quickly what I got in case you care and I love grocery hauls because it helps give me inspiration for new meals to cook but um like I said let me unpack all this stuff and I'll show you guys honestly we didn't really need a whole lot this week it was kind of just like fill-in stuff but um, I got my potato pancakes that I love and then as far as kind of prepping for Thanksgiving I got some turkey broth to use for gravy I was wanting to do like a practice turkey they call it even though not for like the practice aspect but so that I could make some homemade turkey broth but or turkey stock um, but I don't think we'll end up with time for that. And then we're gonna do on Thanksgiving like a charcuterie board and like an antipasto platter. And so I just got, um, these are buy one get one free, but I love this cheddar. So I'm gonna use some now and then just save one. It's good till like the middle of next year. And then we needed white rice. I needed some like little muffin liners, sweet chili sauce, Ryan's new favorite creamer coffee heavy whipping cream i got some tomatoes i'm gonna do some blts tomorrow with those some green onions zucchini that's my current vegetable obsession some broccoli some gala apples and then i got some ground turkey just for different recipes chili tacos whatever and some pears because i'm still loving those ryan called me while i was in the grocery store and i asked him if he wanted anything and he said raspberry donuts so that's what i got him and then um i also want to make a banana pudding i know you typically use the vanilla but i thought maybe mixing the vanilla and banana cream might be good so we're gonna give that a try and then this is kind of like childhood right here just reminds me of then but um, these are just the Kohl's cheese-filled breadsticks. They're bound to for you, which is why there's two. And then the Cavadelli's and four cheese ravioli. I love these. You put some ricotta, salt, yum, olive oil. And then I just like cheese ravioli. Ryan loves cheese ravioli. So I'll just either make a red sauce or get a good red sauce that I like that's jarred. But those were on sale too, which is what sparked that. We didn't necessarily need that, but that's everything. I'm gonna put all this away and then I need to get to work. I literally have had like a chill all day and it literally got warm out. It's already almost seven. My plan was to make shrimp alfredo and do like a veggie and breadsticks, but I think 
Ryan's gonna be home late and then we're going to a friend's house. So I think I'm just gonna make BLTs. Kind of sounded good. I'm not really in the mood to make like a whole soup to do like a soup and sandwich. So I think we're just gonna do sandwiches. I am a Hellman's girl. I grew up on Hellman's, so that's my favorite. So I'm gonna put some on both sides. And then I love this. I think butter lettuce, honestly, is my favorite, especially for sandwiches. So I just rinsed some of that off. And then I cut up some tomatoes and salted them. Always salt your tomatoes. I'm gonna do a lot. I really was not a fan of this brand of bacon. I need to go back and get my, my favorite is like the Applegate brand. And honestly, I don't know if I've ever seen it at Publix. I guess I'll have to look. Such a super simple dinner, but I love that because I am cooking like six days out of the week. And so it's nice to do some simple dinners too. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday morning, obviously. I think last night, we didn't get home till like 12, but our friends had like a cute little bonfire going and whatever. So it was a nice night, but I was just exhausted. I didn't get up till nine. Ryan left for work and I stayed in bed, which I like never do. But now I'm gonna head to like downtown St. Pete area with my mom. We're gonna go get breakfast. It's at this place called Trips Diner. I have like a tickle in my throat and I've been feeling better for like the past five days. So fingers crossed, it's nothing else, but um, we're gonna go to a place called Trips Diner and it's like a diner that's been there forever. I love diner food for breakfast. It's like so simple and easy and it's like, yeah, you can make it at home, but the whole point is that you don't have to cook. So we're gonna do that. I do wanna go to Target today. I did bring my bathing suit and like my beach bag and I have my beach chair and like towel and stuff back there. Um, and maybe we'll go to the beach for a little bit. I'm getting super pale. I'm gonna have to do some self tan for like any events or anything going on. I have my work Christmas party coming up. November is just gonna be super busy. It's my dad's birthday. It's just such a busy month, but I'm so excited for this time of year. Finally just got home and I stopped at Target on my way home. Uh, it's already almost five and I think I'm just gonna start cooking dinner and just kind of be done with it. Although I'm gonna take a shower first. It's so hot outside, it's ridiculous. But um, I got this little throw blanket that's super soft. The one that I got from Target a couple months ago from Casaluna, it's like that knit, you know, sweater like material and the cats put giant holes in it and i'm just really over it because it's not comfortable to use so i'm just gonna wash that and throw that on the couch and then i was looking for taper candle holders for like um the centerpiece for thanksgiving and i found these hearth and hand ones and they happen to be on clearance and this was like exactly what i was looking for but like really the only option i found anyways but kind of worked out good so i just grabbed the four that were there because I think that'll be plenty like two on each side of the table and then the other day I just ran out of this olive oil which I like to use for like dressings and stuff like that so I just grabbed that and really the point of going was for stuff for the table for Thanksgiving so I found these green taper candles Ryan's calling me. Okay, like I was saying, um, taper candles for the table. I got these green ones. I feel like they're kind of a little bit more Christmassy, but they can really be anything. And I just got white just in case. I was thinking maybe do like a mix of the white and green throughout the table. I don't know. I'll just have to see. Either way, these will be good for 
Christmas time. And then I just went ahead and got a white, a plain white tablecloth. I was kind of looking for an off-white, but the only one they had was like a dark tan, which is not what I was going for. So we're just going to do white. Obviously, I need to wash that. And then I got this table runner to go on top of it, which I feel like feels very Thanksgiving. And I know obviously, like you can see, you don't necessarily do both at the same time, but I want to protect the table. So I'm just going to do both and it'll be fine. We'll just play around with it when the time comes. But I wanted to go now and get it done because I kept seeing like people on Instagram showing the Christmas stuff was already out and it was like Christmas everywhere in there. You couldn't find anything Thanksgiving literally left at all. So just kind of made do with what they had, but I think it'll work out good. So I put the runner that I got yesterday on the table. It's kind of even hard to see it with how big these placemats are. And then for actual Thanksgiving, I'll put that white tablecloth on here just to protect the table. I think I'm gonna have to move these coasters because I wanna do like groupings of this type of stuff. And I'm gonna get obviously a lot, lot closer like week of Thanksgiving, like some fresh fruit. So like apples, pears, maybe some clementines and kind of like fill in the spaces to just use that as like the centerpiece, you know? And then as far as like dinner, maybe I'll end up just taking this out so that you can actually see the people across from you. But I love this runner. Like I said, it's kind of hard to see it, but it adds a little bit of something instead of it just being like a blank table i don't know if these are like too orange these are like faux ones that my mom gave me and that she had like in her thanksgiving stuff so maybe i'll end up just getting like some real like these some gourds and different looking pumpkins to make it look more realistic because those are some pretty bright pops of orange kind of like these i have these over here these are real little gourds so Maybe get some of those so like it looks a little bit more natural. I could always put those over there, but I just like how it sits over here. But if you get like, obviously these need to be eaten soon, but some bright green pears and my Publix had the red pears and I think that would look so good on the table. Hi you guys, happy Halloween. It's Tuesday, obviously, and I'm just getting off work, but I tried to plan my day. I was on at like 7 this morning, so it's only 5 o'clock, and I'm getting off now so that I have time to cook dinner. I should have planned, maybe I'll do a lemon drop. It could be fancy because we are just going to stay at home, set up a table out front. We have our candy and stuff. We're still like in that phase of being new to home owning and just being like excited to pass out candy. Um, it's only our second year doing it. We don't have, I feel like a lot of kids live in our neighborhood, but there's so many houses and it's such a large neighborhood that I'm not really quite sure like where people tend to stay or like where the hotspots are for trick or treating. Like I feel like when I grew up, there was like the nice neighborhoods or the big neighborhoods you go to and there's just like certain streets that are good. Like I just don't know that type of stuff yet so we still find that like super fun i should have planned something for the grill because then we would have been outside but i'm just going to do tacos which is totally random but i've had a craving for tacos and it's something like easy to eat like you can stand and eat sit and eat you don't need to like use a fork and a knife um i almost ran to the store to get some pumpkins to put out front but i just don't know that i'm gonna have time to do that and it might be kind of crazy out get out of the shower wash my hair i'm gonna blow dry that then cook dinner start setting up outside i think i'm gonna move the car so that um the driveway is empty so people like feel more comfortable here is 
our little candy dish that I love with all the little Snoopy and friends on it. Um, I feel like this doesn't look like a lot now that I have it. It's 30 full size candy bars. I'm almost thinking I maybe should have gotten two, but last year I feel like this would have been enough. Like I don't think we even had, I don't know, maybe like 20, 25. I do have other like single small candy, but um, I really think that that should be enough. So I'm gonna get started on that. I feel like the night is gonna fly by. Um, what was I saying? Oh, maybe do like a lemon drop or something, but maybe I'll just keep it simple and do a seltzer. It just depends how much time I have. I'm trying to let my hair air dry a little bit more before I put heat in it. I need to start, I have like no outside Halloween decor. I put up my fall wreath and I have a couple of pumpkins and that's literally it. So I'm gonna be like on the lookout. I feel like they have everything on sale right now and I just did not pay attention to Halloween. It's always like skipping straight to Thanksgiving and stuff. He's been obsessed with these pumpkins, but I just realized these are all doing so good. Like these spots were just naturally already there, but they're holding on and this one is not doing so good. It's literally the biggest one. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this outside before it you know, goes bad. It's not the bottom or anything, like it hasn't gone bad, but I don't like the way that looks and I don't want the cats to be by it. So we'll have to replace this one. But that was my favorite one. It was such like a perfect orange pumpkin. Mm -hmm. 